any green yarn. This is like an off green kind of, I don't know, I like this green for this pattern. You're gonna need a crochet hook. This is a crochet hook H, five millimeter. You're gonna need a pencil and some scissors. You don't necessarily need the pattern, but if you want it, you can find it on Pinterest or just Google crochet bobble stitch patterns. Um, here's the one we're doing today is a turtle pattern number four in our blanket. Slip knot, you're gonna wrap the yarn around your finger twice, the tail, holding it in place. You're gonna pull the back over to the front, leave it there. Now you're gonna take the back and you're gonna pull it straight off, letting go and pulling as you let go to form the knot. On your hook and tighten. <clears throat> so with this pattern, we're gonna chain 30 like the other ones. One, two, three, four, five, seven, 28, 29, 30. Okay, single crochet, a second chain from the hook. This doesn't count as one, so we have one and two. I'm gonna insert our hook, yarn over, pull through. We have two loops, yarn over, pull through both. Okay, so again, single crochet, you insert your hook through the stitch, yarn over, pull through. You have two loops, yarn over, pull through both. So at the end of this row, you should have 29 single crochets. So go ahead and finish this row, and again, make sure you count the top. You can see the V's here. This is what you count to double check that you have 29. So if I have one, two, three, four, and five. I just finished my 29 single crochets and I counted as I went and I did have 29 at the end of this row. So now we're gonna turn our work. We're gonna hide this end. Basically to hide this, we're just gonna pull it up over to the top of these stitches and we're gonna crochet over top of it to lock that into place. And now we need another, now we need another five rows of just single crochet. So remember to insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, and pull through both. And see how I'm working over top of this? That's gonna lock that sucker in place and I won't have to worry about it later. Okay, I think I've worked it in enough. You can work it in as many as you want, but I do recommend at least six or seven. And then you just drop it in the back and keep single crocheting. Remember you need five more rows of just single crochet. Let's go ahead and complete that, and when you are done, we will come back and work on our seventh row. Okay, I just finished my fifth row, totaling six single crochets. I'm just gonna cut that straggler piece. Okay, so now I'm gonna turn my work. Chain up one again. After every single row, we chain up one. And now I need seven single crochets. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So now we're gonna do a bobble stitch. To do a bobble stitch, we yarn over our hook, insert into the V, the stitch, which it looks like a V if you look at it, yarn over and pull through. We have three loops on our hook. We're gonna yarn over and pull through two loops, leaving two loops on our hook. Yarn over, insert, pull through, go through two. Whoop. Now you should have three loops on your hook. We're gonna continue this sequence until we have six loops. Four, five, and six. Now we're gonna yarn over and pull through all six. 
Next one, we're going to single crochet to lock that bobble into, into place. And there we have it. Okay, we're going to do that a total of three more times. So, one, two, three, four, hoopies, it's stuck. One more to make six. Yarn over and pull through all and single crochet directly into the next stitch, securing that one into place. Okay, two more times. One more. Okay. And after that, we need four single crochets. So the one right after is going to count as our one, two, three, and four. Now we need to repeat what we just did with the four bobbles. Now if you would like to see this pattern in a written pattern um, as well as the image, just let me know in the comments below and I will get that on my blog. There's three, four, five, six. Okay. Pull through all, that makes two. Okay, and we should have three stitches left. One, two, and three for three single crochets. Now at the end of this row, we're gonna turn our work to the left. There's what we have so far. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna chain up one after every row that we do a bobble stitch. Doesn't matter if it's one bobble stitch or like this is eight. You're gonna single crochet the entire next row. Be sure you pull the bobble aside because there is a stitch in between those. Okay, and then there's a stitch on top. Remember, pull to the side to look for that stitch. And this, when you're pulling it aside, that's the single crochet we did right after and you want to make sure you're single crocheting into that again. Okay, so turn our work, chain up one, and we're going to re we're going to crochet seven stitches now. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now we need one bobble, one, two, three, three single crochets, one, two, three, one bobble, followed by a single crochet and then another bobble in that sequence. Okay, now we need four single crochets. One, two, three, and four. One bobble.
Okay, three single crochets. One, two, and three. Then we're gonna do one bobble, one single crochet, one bobble. Okay, and we should have three single crochets left. So one, two, three brings us to the end of that row. We're gonna turn our work. That's what it should look like now. I'm gonna chain up one, and remember to single crochet this entire okay, row. I just finished that row of single crochets. Now I'm gonna turn my work, chain up one, and I need seven single crochets again. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay, now we need one bobble stitch here. One, two, three, four, five, okay, and then two single crochets in between, so here's one and two, then we need one bobble again, let me pull some more yarn because I'm running low over here. A lot of times you'll see me pull these stitches like this because if I have three on this side and three on this, then I know I'm done. Okay, one single crochet in between and another bobble. bobble. Okay, five single crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. And then one bobble. Okay. Two single crochets, basically repeating what we did in the beginning. And then a single crochet or bobble, single crochet bobble here. That's the next three stitches. Okay, and single crochet, bobble. Okay, and then we need, we should have four single crochets left. So one, two, three, and four. And that completes that row. So we're gonna turn our work, chain up one, and single crochet across for 29 single crochets. Okay. So go ahead and turn one, turn your work, chain up one. And now we need six single crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. We're gonna need 10 bobble stitches with 10 single crochets in between. So 
So we're going to need 10 of these groups here. So this is a bobble followed by a single crochet. We need 10 of these. There's one. Two. Three. Okay. Okay, I'm coming up on my tenth bobble here. And at the end of this round row, I should have three stitches left for three single crochets. Okay, so we're going to turn our work. You can see it really starting to form. Chain up one. And we're going to single crochet across for 29 single crochets. Okay, so we need six single crochets. There's three, four, five, six. And then we need 11 of the bobble stitches. Bobble stitch single crochet group. Okay, there's one one group. Now go ahead and complete the other 10. And then okay, so I'm coming up on my last bobble stitch. Okay, and again, you should have one stitch left which is going to be your single crochet at the end of that row and that's it okay so the next row I'm going to turn oh you can see the legs we're going to chain up one and we're going to single crochet across okay just finished my single crochet row now we're going to turn our work chain up one and we need two single crochets to start this row one and two then we need three bobbles one There's one bobble. Two. And three. And then we need 16 single crochets, including the one after the bobble. So there's one, two, three, four, 16, and then three bobbles to end this row.
There's one. Two. Okay, so I'm just finishing up this last bobble. So we're going to crochet through and we have no stitches to single crochet in. So what we're going to do is we're just going to leave this here, turn our work, chain up our one, and single crochet backwards. And what that's going to do is allow that piece to sit off the edge just like that. Okay, and we're just going to single crochet across this row. So it's the end of the single crochet round. And you can see his body starting to form. So we're going to turn our work. We're going to chain one. And this time we need one single crochet and then one bobble. There's the one. Now we need five single crochets in between. So here's one, two, three, three, four, five. We need one bobble. Then we need 14 single crochets across. So here's one, two, three, four, five, thirteen, and fourteen. Then we need one bobble. Three single crochets. One, two, three. Then we need one bobble. One, and one single crochet at the end. And that completes that row. Now this may look a little awkward because it looks like this needs to be single crocheted into, but it does not. Our ending is here. If you, so let's turn our work, chain up one, and single crochet across. Okay, let's go ahead and turn our work, chain up one, and the very first stitch is going to be our bobble. Okay. Then we need seven single crochets. So here's one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then we need one bobble stitch. So one bobble in the next stitch. Okay, and then 12 single crochet. Then 
11, 12. Then we're going to have one bobble. And then we have, should have six stitches left for single crochet. So here's one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, turn our work. Chain up one and single crochet across. And okay, we just finished that row. And we're going to turn chain one and we need one single crochet followed by one bobble Stupid yarn. And then we need two single crochets. One, two, one bobble. Four single crochets, and four, one bobble, Followed by 10 single crochets. So we have one, two, nine, ten, one bobble again. And then you should have seven stitches left for seven single crochets. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, and that concludes that round. So let's turn our work, chain up our one, and single crochet across for okay, turn our work chain up one and we need two single crochets so we're going to go one two and then we're going to do a bobble stitch three four four, five, and six. And then we should have five single crochets in between. So one, two, three, four, five. We're gonna do one bobble. There's six and two single crochets in between. One and two. Another bobble 
in the next stitch. Okay, and this time we need seven single crochets in between. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one last bobble for this row. And the rest are single crochet. Should have eight. And eight. Okay, so go ahead and turn your work. Chain one and single crochet across. Okay, we're turning our work. Chaining up one. This time we need four single crochets. One, two, three, four. We need one bobble followed by a single crochet and then another bobble. Oh my goodness. Just push those all back in. They should go back on. Okay. And one more bobble. Okay, and then we should have six single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Then we do three bobbles. There's one. Two more. <laughs> Two. We need 10 single crochets. There's one, two, and 10. We're going to turn our work, chain one, and the next five rows, you're going to single crochet across my five single crochet rows. So now I'm going to turn my work, chain up one, and I'm going to single crochet across again but it's going to be a little different this time. Okay, coming to the end of this row. In this last stitch here, this is where we're going to work our corners. This stitch here, we're going to put three single crochets. So there's one, two, Three. And you see it allows us to turn so that we're not chaining up one or anything else. But we're actually turning our work to go down. Okay? So each time we get to the corner, we're going to put three. Three single crochets. The rest of the time, it's just one single crochet around. Okay? So go ahead and finish your border. Okay, so go ahead and finish the border. And don't forget that when you get to the corners here, you're going to put three single crochets. When you get to this corner, you're going to put three single crochets. Okay, we're coming to the end of this row. Okay, and in this stitch here, we 
we're gonna put two single crochets only. So here's one and two, and then we're gonna slip stitch into the first stitch, not the chain one, but our very first single crochet. There's the chain one. We wanna go into the single crochet and stitch it in, okay? Then we're gonna yarn over, drop our hook, cut a nice size tail, and pull our yarn over and tighten it. And there's our turtle. Ooh, it looks just like the pattern. Now we're gonna block our work. And to block our work, all we have to do is take some safety pins like these and basically just place them all over your pattern or all over your work so that it stretches out to an even consistency. I'm just going to pin it all the way around. It does not matter how many pins you put in or how little pins you put in. Just as long as you get the final result. Now that we have it pinned, the next step we're going to take a bottle of water and a spray bottle and we're just going to soak the entire project. You're just going to spray, 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 spray until it is soaked. And I like to push it in as, as I spray. Making sure it's all even the way you want it to be. Okay, after that you're going to let it dry for 24 hours and you're done. On to pattern 5. If you liked the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and do follow along as we continue our bobble stitch blanket. Um, and we'll see you next time.